Hello, hello again, everybody. Zach Attack is here with my thoughts on the nominations that just came out for the 59th Annual Grammy Awards, which of course took place on Sunday, February 12th at 8 7 Central on CBS. Hosted by James Corden, your new host for this year, ending the reign of LL Cool J. So there you go. Um, give my thoughts on the top nominees. I'll give you some of my thoughts on the uh, some of the awards. Give you the nominations and some of the awards. Like I always do, doing these thoughts videos on the Grammy nominations. Not all the nominations, because if I do all. 84 categories, it'd be a long video. It'd be longer than usual. So, uh, let's get these off with uh, the big getters of nominations. Leading the pack, sadly, is Beyonce. Her phenomenal year continues. <laughs> After dominating the VMAs, which I heard from an egomaniac, from one egomaniac to another, that she said she wouldn't perform if she wasn't going to win Video of the Year over Kanye. Wow. That's a first. Um, she's dominated every award show thus far. Now she wants to dominate the Grammys, leading with nine nominations. Um, Drake and Rihanna and Kanye got eight each. Beyonce got nine. Chance the Rapper's got seven. Um... Let's open up with uh, my thoughts on the nominations for one of the biggest awards of the night, but well, used to be one of the biggest awards of the night, but now it's not because of digital stuff. Album of the Year. We have, obviously, Lemonade. Now, this is Beyonce's, if I'm not mistaken, this is her, I think it's her third Album of the Year nomination. I need to double check that. Yeah, by and why this is her third Album of the Year nomination. Uh, she was nominated in 2010 for I Am Sasha Fierce, but she lost to Taylor Swift. Last year, as we all know, 2015, she lost to Beck. A lot of people thought she was going to win in 2015, but Beck did. Which stunned people, including Kanye, who almost said him up to them. Um, so a lot of people might be picking Lemonade to win. But I don't want Lemonade to win. I want Adele to win. Yep. Adele didn't get as much nominations as many people expected. But the multi-time Grammy winner is up again for album of the year for 25. This is the second album of the year nomination. She, of course, swept through the Grammys back in 2012 with 21. With the hits rolling the deep, getting big wins, including Song of the Year and Record of the Year. So let's see if Adele's magical night can repeat itself at the Grammys this year. And we got two Canadians up for the album of the year. His first album of the year nomination, Justin Bieber, up for purpose. That is an interesting shocker to see. Bieber out there in the album of the year, yet David Bowie got shafted. And not just the album of the year, but also the majors. Yeah, Bowie got some rock nominations, which I'll get to in a moment. When I go through some of the other nominations, other awards, and their nominees. But Bieber out there for purpose. I know he had some big hits with, of course, three number ones with What Do You Mean? Sorry, and love yourself. You know, it was considered his comeback album. Hell, he's going out on the stadium tour. He just announced a stadium leg of the Puppets tour. So it's like very interesting. So it is his very first, and he's been shafted for years in the games. You know, he didn't get nominated much for Believe. He was not too pleased, and his manager wasn't too pleased, Scooter. And now. He is nominated for the biggest one of all, 
album of the year. So I bet his manager and himself are probably a little bit happy now that he got the big nomination. But he has to contend with his fellow Canadian, Drake, one of the lead nominations, nominees besides Beyonce. He is nominated for album of the year himself for views. This is his first ever album of the year nomination as a lead artist. Now, when Good Kid Bad City was released by Kendrick Lamar, he was nominated as a featured artist. Same with Beyonce's album, Beyonce. This is the first lead album of Drake's to be nominated for album of the year. So it's very interesting to see Drake up there. Uh, big shocker. Besides the fact that no Bowie up there, a guy who's been dissing the country community for being too pop country, outspoken, but he deserves a big nomination. And wow, it's a shocker. Stojil Simpson is nominated for album of the year for A Sailor's Guide to Earth. Now, if he wins, the Beehive's gonna go nuts on him as they did the Beck back in 2015. <laughs> So Soja Simpson's probably saying to himself, I would like to win, but I got faced the wrath of the beehive if I win. Because I saw what happened back one. <laughs> I'm doing my will win, should win scenario. Like I always do with these Grammys things. I hate to say it. Will win. <sighs> Beyonce. Should win Adele. I'm sorry. You know, I am not the biggest fan of Beyonce now. I hate a new stuff. And it's a sad world we live in when she has more VMA wins than Madonna now. You know what I mean? I just don't like her music anymore. She hasn't anything good since single ladies. In my mind. Hold on a second. Call from Boyd Caller. I had to hang up by the telemarketer. Hey! That's what I do with telemarketer calls. Telemarketer. Hey! So, uh, that's my thoughts on the album of the year nominations. Adele should win, but sadly, after two nominations in the past, including an award that a lot of people thought she was going to win, album of the year 2015, probably a lot of people feel the same for Lemonade. And if that doesn't win again... It'd be insane. Like, I don't see Adele beat Beyonce, but if still Joe Simpson wins, it'd be a huge suck. It'd be a backline upset. It'd be like some big upsets next to Back Me Beyonce and also Arcade Fire winning in 2011 for the suburbs. Uh, Song of the Year nominations are Formation Beyonce. Hello, Adele. Shocker. I took a pill in a bees. Wow. That's interesting to see that song nominated by Mike Osner. What a comeback for him. After a big hit back in 2010 with Cooler Than Me. God, I haven't played that song in a while, but I liked that song. He's from Michigan, so he gets a little uh, love from Detroit. Uh, before I get to any more thoughts on the uh, single, the song of the year, Kanye is not nominated for album of the year. Yay! <laughs> he wasn't too happy about Frank Ocean being left out because Frank didn't submit his album to get nominated for the album of the year. So Kanye made his big win, but now he's not nominated for album of the year. He did some other nominations, but wow, he's not nominated for album of the year. But if he was, he'd be up against Beyonce and. He made fun of Beyonce recently. They were friends. We thought they were friends, but she had to be a man sitting with him and Taylor Swift. But now they're not good buddies. As I mentioned in the beginning, the Kanye apparently during his meltdown before he went to the hospital, which you hate him, but you gotta feel for him. Maybe he gets help. Maybe he'd be no more again. Not an egomaniac. But uh, from one ego to another, he said. Beyonce wouldn't perform if she wasn't going to beat Kanye for video of the year. That's what he said. So it's interesting to see Kanye not get an album of the year nomination. He's been nominated before. And lost. He got mad about it. Being like, hey, let's not get him nominated for that because he didn't get 
bad about it again, especially if it's against Beyonce. <laughs> so the other song of the year nominations, back to that. Love Yourself, Justin Bieber, and Seven Years by Lucas Graham. Yeah, because that way. Um, Hello is the only one that was a, and Love Yourself were two big number one singles for Bieber and Adele this year. Formation was a top ten hit. It's interesting to see a lot of new blood in the song of the year. If, you know, Adele's won it before for Rolling in the Deep. And Beyonce, I think she's been nominated for Song of the Year as well. Um, and she has won Song of the Year before for Single Ladies. So we got two former winners of the Song of the Year in this category. So when it comes to Song of the Year, I'm going to do this. Will win Adele. Should win, surprisingly, Lucas Graham. Because that's going to be an interesting, introspective song. Seven years old. I got a lot of requests for that song this year. And playing a couple bit in my gigs as a disc jockey. So, interesting little ditty. So, I think that one could be a big favorite. Not formation. I'm sorry. Uh, let's look at record of the year. Some big snubs in that one. Uh, let's get to the nominees first before I get to the snubbing for the record of the year. Uh, we got Hello. Basically, three out of the five nominees for Song of the Year. Hello, Formation, Seven Years. Replacing Love Yourself and I Took a Pill and Ibiza. Work, Rihanna and Drake. And the only one. Nominate the only walk act nominated in the majors, 21 pilots with stressed out. We have some big number one singles in that category, but we're missing three of the biggest. Can't stop the feeling got snubbed for record of the year. Wow, that's a really feel good song. It was a number one single. I can't believe that got shafted. And it's fine you nominated for album of the year. No love for one of the biggest number ones this year, One Dance by Drake. And speaking of big number ones, another interesting snub was that Chainsmokers' is biggest number one, Closer, not getting nominated for Record of the Year. Now, they are nominated for a couple of awards, especially in the EDM categories. But it's a stunner that the Chainsmokers did not get a Record of the Year nor a Song of the Year nomination. So that's very interesting to see those guys not get any love from the major categories. So that's stunning. Like I said, those big songs, those Big number one singles did not get nominated for the record or song of the year was Drake, JT, and the Chainsmokers. So it's like, what the hell, man? So beyond interesting for the record of the year. Um, I'm gonna do this again. Record of the year will win Adele. <laughs> Should win work or seven years. Fuck me out there. <laughs> I don't think formation should win that award. It's a stupid song. And I I only get like it's interesting. The other one of the biggest artists in the world. Why 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 don't I get any requests for her? Cause she has nothing dancing. That's my point. <laughs> so there you go. Um, look at a category that throughout the years has launched many artists. And there's been other years where it's like, they won? What? Like, the year that Esperanza Spalding beat Justin Bieber. Because last year's winner was Megan Trainer. You know, the last Grammy year was Megan Trainer. 
And now we have these five nominees for Best New Artist. And they are two country artists. Kelsey Ballerini, the only nomination she's got. She should have got more than country. But getting a lot of nominations as well, besides Best New Artist, is Baron Morris. Saw this year open up with Keith Up. She was pretty good. Because she won the Best New Artist at the AC, uh, CMA recently. So she's up for this award. She's up against the Chainsmokers, who, as I just mentioned, despite getting shafted on Record and Song of the Year, they are nominated for Best New Artist, along with Chains the Rapper and some person named Anderson Puck. I don't know who that is. Maybe some electronic girls. I have no idea. Um, I don't want to be. Do my research right now. Um, we'll win. Mary Morris should win the Chainsmokers. Just my prediction on that. So, best pop. <coughs> best pop solo. We got. Hello, <laughs> Adele. Hold up, Beyonce. Love yourself, Bieber. Piece by piece, the idol version that she did during the idol finale week, Kelly Clarkson, and Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. We'll win. Adele should win. Bieber or Grande. Sorry, Beyonce. Best pop duo group performance. Closer. Wow, like I said, didn't get a song or record of the year. But they get nominated for best pop performance by a duo or group. Along with seven years by Lucas Graham, Wilk, Biala, Rihanna, and Drake, Cheap Thrills, Sia, and Sean Paul, and Stressed Out 21 Pilots. A couple of number ones in there. Will win. Closer. Should win. Seven years or Stressed Out. Best pop album. Pop vocal album. Nominees all 25 are down. Pimpers Justin Bieber. Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. Interesting to see this woman nominated for anything. Confident, Demi Lovato. And this is acting. See ya. Uh, we'll win, Adele. Should win. See ya or Bieber. Best dance recording. We have Bob Moses, Tear Me Up. Chainsmokers, Don't Let Me Down. With Dea, Never Be Like You by Flume. Witton and Kayla went to repeat a drinky Bob uh, Salty Chuka. God, I'm kind of be biased because I don't know a lot of these nominations. I don't play that much dance songs unless they're on mainstream like the Chainsmokers. So we'll win. The Chainsmokers should win. I'm just going to go random. Flume. I don't know. I don't know I'm going to do the other dance category because I don't know that much about regular dance people. Um, Best rock performance. Rock categories now. Joe, live from Alabama Shakes. Don't hurt yourself. Beyonce? What the fuck? She gets a rock nomination? What the hell? What the fuck, man? That's some bullshit. You can tell me that Bowie is not nominated for album of the year. For his final album, yet Beyonce is in the wild category with them. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking serious, man. <laughs> but as mentioned, we got Bowie, Black Star, The Sound of Silence cover, but it's a live version from Disturbed. And Heathens, Johnny Ryan Violin. Now, this is going to be a tough one. Fuck Beyonce in this one, too. <sighs> Will win! David Bowie! Should win! 21 Pilots or Disturbed. Last Rock Song. We have Black Star, David Bowie. Bum the Witch, Radiohead. Hardwired, Metallica. Heathens, 21 Pilots. And My Name is Human, Highly Suspect. Will win! David Bowie. Because Grammy let the honor dead artist. Just ask Wayne Charles. That's interesting. Wayne Charles won album of the year for Genius Loves Company after he passed away. Yet they didn't have any Bowie's album. Or anything Prince. 
Because Prince released a couple albums before he passed away. Hit and One P Phase 2 came out. So it's interesting. Both didn't get nominated. Especially the biggest one was Bowie. Not getting nominated for anything major. So we're with Bowie. Should win. 21 Pilots on Metallica. Uh, Bowie's not named the best rock album, which I'll get to. He's not the best alternative album. Best rock album. We have California, Blink-182. These are alternative bands! Are you kidding me? This these are alternative bands nominated for best rock album. Interesting. Uh, supposedly, maybe it should be alternative rock album. It says regular rock and alternative rock. <laughs> so we have Blink-182, Age Elephants, Tell Me I'm Pretty, Magma by Gojira. I think I'm going to see them in Rock on the Range with Metallica. Yeah, I'm going to rock and range in the first three. Death of a Bachelor, Panic, and the Disco, and Weezer. Weezer. What album is it now? The Red Album, or the Blue Album, the Orange Album? Because they don't give themselves an album that's go by the color. Uh, this is an interesting category. I have to say, will win Weezer. Should win Blink or Panic. It's just tough to pick that one. Uh, best alternative music album. We have Bon Iver, A Million, Black Star, David Bowie, BJ Harvey, The Hope Six Demolition Project. It's just interesting to see her get nominated for anything. Same for this guy, Iggy Pop, from Post Pop Depression, his project with Josh Homie from the Queens of the Stone Age, and a moon shaped pool by Radiohead. Will win David Bowie, should win Iggy or Radiohead. Got some interesting nominations for the uh, RV's performance. We have You, Me, 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 by Rihanna in Salons. That's my picks for that one. Will win Rihanna, should win Salons. How's it going that far? Also, Kiss It Better is nominated for uh, Best RB Song up against Maxwell's Link by the Ocean in Love by Tory Lanez. So, Will win uh, Rihanna, should win Maxwell. Beyonce and Rihanna going head to head in Urban Contemporary will win. Beyonce should win a Rihanna. Let's get to the rap categories. Yeah. We have No Problem, Chance the Rapper. I think someone requested that song recently in a gig, but I didn't play it. Because I, I, I know what song's working, song's not. And it was requested that Powell, not Wilkinson. Banda, designer. Pop style, Drake and the Throne, with Kanye. All the way up, Fat Joe and Remy Ma. And that part, my schoolboy Q. Will win, Drake. Should win, Designer. <laughs> it's a weird song, man. That's why I said it should win, not will. Best rap song performance. Freedom, Beyonce, and Kendrick Lamar. Hotline Bling, Drake. Broccoli's nominated, interesting, by Dram with Little Yachty. Ultralight Beam, Kanye, and another Kanye, famous with Rihanna. Uh, will win, Hotline Bling, should win, Broccoli or Famous. Best Rap Song, all the way up, Fat Joe. Famous, Kanye, Hotline Bling, Drake. No problem, James the Rapper. And another Kanye Ultralight Beam. Will win. It's said. Famous should win. Hotline Blame. Best Web Album. We have Coloring Book. Chance the Rapper. And the Anonymous Nobody. D. La So. A uh, Kickstarter album getting nominated. It doesn't see them. Great rap legends. I saw them with LL Cool J, but I need a former gaming house in Public Enemy on a tour. That was interesting to see them. DJ Khaled's Major Key. Oh, it's just DJ Khaled's Major Key. Views, Drek, Blinkface LP, Schoolboy Q, and Kanye's The Life of Baba. Will win. Kanye. Should win, Drake, or Chance the Rapper. I heard his album was pretty interesting. Coloring book. Big album, they even in the charts. Big. A lot of females being represented in the country categories this year. 
Very interesting. Let's get to the country category for the country solo performance. Love Can Go to Hell, Brandy Clark. Miranda Lambert's Vice. My Church, Marion Morris. Keep with the church theme. Church Bells, Ariel Noor. And Blue Red Young Other, Eve Urban, where I saw open up with Marion Morris. You may have opened up for Keith. Great show. So, we'll win. Gary Underwood should win Barry Morris or Keith Urban. Because Carrie's won a lot of Grammys in the past. But it's time for the new people to step in. So, I would love to see Barry win this one. Best Country Duo Group Performance. Different for Girls. Dirk Bentley with L. King getting a country nod for her duet with Dirk's. 21 Summer by the Brothers Osborne. Send the Wood on Fire, Kenny Chesney in Pink. Jolene, Pentatonix and Dolly Parton. And Think of You, Chris Young with Cassidy Pope. Uh, this is a very interesting one because so many songs are okay. You know, I'm not the. Like, Kenny's song with Pink's not bad. So I will go with keeping it real country, not getting a pop artist to win. Will win, Chris Young. Should win, I'll go with a pop artist anyway. Kenny Chesley. For sure, win. Best country song. We have Blue Ain't Your Color by Keith Urban. Die Happy Man, which did win his song of the year at the one of the country awards. Time is wet. The recent CMA winning song of the year, Humble and Kind, Tim McGraw. My Church, Marion Morris, and Vice, Marina Lambert. The song in nomination because her new album, The Weight of, a Wing, Weight of My Wings, did not come out until after the Grammy deadline. The Grammy deadline. It's September 30th, so we didn't get Miranda's album getting nominated, no Metallica's album for you in the rock. We didn't get the song called Ryan, because that came out in August. So, will win Humble and Kind. Should win Die Happy Man or My Church. Country album. We have Brandy Clark's Big Day in a Small Town and Phil Sucker, who had a lens, saw at the Opry. Last month at the Wyman, which is an amazing experience. Here are Marin Morris, Stojo Simpson, Sailor Guy to Earth, and Whipcorn, Keith Urban. This is going to shock people just because of name and some of the stuff he's made comments about, about awards. Will win, Stojo Simpson, should win, Marin Morris, or Keith Urban. Let's get, I'm not, I'm not going through every category. Just go to Grammy.com and see all the categories if you want to see, like, some of the awards you care about. Ooh, Amy Schumer nominated for a Grammy. Yay! For Best Comedy Record. Uh, I think she will win that one. Should win Pat Niles one. I'll just say that much. Without seeing all the uh, nominees. This is interesting. Best Song Written for a Movie. Despite getting shafted out of the pop categories, and also, more importantly, getting shafted out of song and record, Can't Stop the Feeling is nominated for Best Song Win for Visual Media because it was made for trolls. Heathens, 20 Mill Palace from Suicide Squad. Pink, Just Like Fire, from the bomb known as Alice Through the Looking Glass. Purple Lamborghini, Squirrelix and Rick Ross from the Suicide Squad soundtrack. Try Everything by Shakira from Zootopia. And Peter Gabriel's The Veil from Snowden. So, will win Justin Timberlake. Should win Evans. Or Just Like Fire. Now, get to some of my favorite categories. The videos. Best music video and best music film. No longer short form and long form. Uh, best music video. We have Beyonce's Formation, uh, the winner of the video of the year at the at the VMAs. River, Leon Bridges, Up and Up, Coldplay, Jamie XX, Gosh, and Upside Down and Inside Out, Oak and Go. Now, usually I watch a lot of music videos because I play a lot of videos at my shows, but I only saw Beyonce's video, so I can't be too judgmental. So, say it. Uh, will win Beyonce. Should win because I've seen a lot of their videos in the past, which are very innovative and awesome. Oh, can go. Now I'm mainstream people nominated for video this year. Interesting. Music video film. 
with our sweet when I'm dead, Steve Aoki. The Beatles, eight days a week, the two years. That was a great documentary by uh, Juan Howard. I watched that with my dad on Hulu. And it was an intriguing documentary about the Beatles touring years. It was a great, great watch. It's on DVD right now and on Hulu as well. So it's like, yeah, you have various options on how to watch it. Another streaming movie was I Sleep When I'm Dead. When I was on Netflix. Lemonade Beyond Sound. The Music of Strangers. Yo, yo, ma. And American Saturday Night. Live at the Grand Ole Opry. Wow, I can't believe that's not really it. Okay. We'll win! Beyonce! Should win the Beatles! Eight days a week. That deserves it more than that bitch Beyonce. So, uh, there you go. Those are our nominations. And my thoughts on it, who I think should win and will win some of the big awards at the Grammys. Beyonce should have a big night. It's like, dang it, you know? Especially for me. And not being biased because I'm a Madonna fan, upset about her getting shafted with Beyonce now leading the all career VMA wins over Madonna, which I think is bullshit. There's only one queen! Queen Madonna, not Queen B. That's my opinion. So, I hate her stuff, but I expect to have a big night. But I do think Adele will beat her for album of the year. Because I'd rather, like, if Beyonce does lose, she'll, I would think she would lose better than Adele. Because I don't think people would be too upset if Adele wins. But if still Joe Simpson wins, the Beehive will go on to him like they did in the back. So, uh, there you go. Thank you for watching this Gravy Thoughts video. I think I might be able to watch the Gravy Session live. Hope they're better than the VMAs. VMAs sucked! I'll never watch them again. They're fucking horrible. That's why I didn't make a review for it. Fucking horrible. As long as Beyonce doesn't do a stupid performance, we'll be good. Because I've been, like, the, the shows on Sundays are up against wrestling shows. Now I'll probably be up against a wrestling show again because they're doing a pay per view every two weeks now. But they're not doing a pay-per-view that week. As of now, they're not doing one. So hopefully I'll be able to watch the game. He's live and do a proper review for the first time in a while. With that in mind, you have all been attacked by the thoughts from Zach. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye-bye.